So I quit the job and I was, okay, and now what? <laughs> Hi everybody, so today on Back of House Banter, we've got um, personable PR with Paula. Um, Paula and I have been friends for quite a few years now. Um, she's global top 20 hospitality executive to watch this year um, and absolutely does a fantastic podcast and hotel cast for Ask Suite. So it's a real privilege to have a chat and get some really good tips from her. So. Paula, you started working as a front desk agent, ended up as a hotel general manager. What made you cross over into the content creator for the hotel tech space? Hi, Emmy. Uh, thank you so much for having me. Uh, the pr privilege is all mine. It's always so much fun uh, It's to talk to you. You're such a great energy, so thank you so much. Uh, okay, so starting uh, by answering your first question. After five, seven years working in the hotels, I, I found myself not having like the best time going to work. I don't know, you know, when you start feeling like, oh my God, this is just another day. And, and yeah, I didn't have the joy anymore, even though I love hospitality. I love like meeting with guests, for example, you know, that was the best part of the job for sure. But in many aspects, I was tired. And I just felt like it was time to change. It was not my first time that I changed careers. It was the second, actually, because um, I am graduated in psychology. So, but it was very late. Uh, when you're younger, when you're in 20s, you don't feel like, oh, I'm going to leave everything at 38 years old and start over. It's not something that, you know, you think that when you're 38 years old, you're going to be like, okay, I'm nice now, you know, I have everything settled and it's all good, but it was not the case. And, and even though it was risky, it always is to change careers. Um, it's not easy. It's not a fairy tale. Oh, I woke up and I have to do something with my, I, I don't like this uh, romantic, so romantic view of it. Cause it is, you, you have to, you have to put in account, like you're gonna probably, you're going to lose some financial, um, how you say, income when you change. And it, 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 it's not that easy. But anyway, I thought that either do, either I change it or I would be just feeling miserable and then your performance is not good and et cetera, et cetera. So I quit the job and I was, okay, and now what? <laughs> And I start looking for what I'm going to do next. I have no idea, actually. So I was like, okay, now I have to find out uh, what I'm going to do with the things that, are, that I know that I, I like. I know that I have some kind of ability. And also, uh, how can I put this all together? And then I start researching. And content marketing just pop up in my LinkedIn. Someone talking about something. And I was like, oh, this could be something for me. And then I start studying online. So it between I left between the time I left uh, the hotel, the hotel I was working for, the for until this job that I have now at a suite was like eight or nine months. It was a long time. Uh, so that's why I also say keep saying that it's um, you have to be realistic. I I knew I I had I was fortunate enough to have like a financial um, I say security or something that I, I knew I could afford this this time to rethink and reconsider. And I also know there are many people out there that don't have. So that's why I just want to be sure that, you know, that's not coming across like, oh, it's so easy. And it, it is not like that. I know it's not like that. So anyway, so I found out about content marketing. I thought, hmm, I think I can do that. And I simply, I just went for, like, I have no experience. I just have, like, online courses. And I wanted to work for Ask Suite. It was very, like, I was targeting them. They didn't even have marketing position, at least. So they have sales position. So I said, okay, I'm going to enter this company, and I'm going to change to, in, uh, to marketing once I'm there. And here I am. <laughs> You've done yeah. amazing. With, with, I met you when you first went into our suite and I've seen the growth and how you've taken that role really made it your own and the passion and the content that you create is absolutely fantastic so I think you know it's a marriage made in heaven for you it's really good advice though like 
make sure that you absolutely think through leaving a position before you go on to another I think you know COVID really highlighted that a lot of hospitality people have moved into different realms if somebody is looking to make that career change like you did what would you suggest would be the best way forward to start doing online courses or things like that that you've spoken about just now yeah exactly uh, first of all, you have to figure it out. Uh, I know you don't have to figure it out exactly what you want to do. Like I said, I didn't know, but I start thinking like what from all the, my previous uh, experience in working, what are the things that I like it? And, and at least the things that I knew I didn't like that. That's also good. <laughs> like this, this didn't work for me, at least to give you some kind of direction, even if it's not like, like precise. So once you have that, then yeah, I did a lot of a lot of courses, and today you know you can go YouTube or whatever, and and, and get educated. So you, I started with that, and I start talking to people too. Don't be shy. That's one of the things that you you're gonna you have to learn fast, I think. And people are usually uh, nicer than you think. I start talking to some people that were already working in content marketing, which was the thing that I, mm, I think have something here for me. And, you know, the, the good thing about working in hospitality is that, oh my God, you develop so many different skills and that you can be used to basically anywhere you want to go. <laughs> so the, the thing that I, I found that I had success with, especially with recruitment process, I did not only ask suite, I did like a couple more a few more and I was actually successful but it was because even though I didn't have any experience in that particular area I realized that I could highlight things they are connected people don't do that people think like okay I just work in sales so no one gonna hire me in marketing but a lot of things that you do in sales trust me gonna be it's good to have in marketing so highlight that not the fact that you didn't work in marketing and that's what I did. And in hospitality, oh my God, you have like, you have to have to be good, you know, dealing with stress and with people and, you know, think fast. And there are so many things that communication and all that, especially soft skills, which are what most companies are looking for. Because, you know, the technical stuff you can learn much faster than the soft skills. Yeah. So the better the, the bigger and better companies they're looking for soft skills and in hospitality oh my god that's university you know <laughs> you, you you start like yeah not knowing much but even if you have like a, i don't know a month in hospitality i think you develop a lot of things so yeah so that would be my if i could give an advice or something it's um uh, learn how to identify what do you have in your previous experience that could help you in your next challenge, even though they seem like they're not, the, they're not in the same area, but you will find some connecting dots that, that, that people will appreciate it. So, yeah. I yeah. And, 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 and for me, I think it's, you know, be about being authentic to who you are. If you approach somebody and you're asking genuine questions for genuine reasons, people will always help you. So if you're looking yeah. for advice, reach out and, and have a conversation with somebody. 